With a headhunter, any build is good. So this is uh, my future in stacker. I called it Scissor and Capri Capricious because I think that's a cool word. And my last one was called Insidious, which is another cool word. I was like, how am I going to level this? Normally I do a Chaos Slinger, but then I was like, you know what? I have a Headhunter and I had so much fun playing my last Impulsive Storm's Gift build that I was like, what if I do Impulsive Storm's Gift Headhunter? I was like, this is really, really cool. Like, I, I love doing Impulse and, and Storm's Gift. It's so fun. And Headhunter is just going to make it better. But this is probably the worst Headhunter build I have ever played. Um, it has literally no single target. It doesn't even feel nice in Legions. I've actually never played a Headhunter build this bad. Uh, Winter Orb is really, really strong with uh, Headhunter. But I think... The better thing would have just been to be a cultist. Like, doing the elementalist memes was just so silly. Because Winter Orb is actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good on a cultist anyway. I did it last thing and, well, obviously nowhere near its former glory. It was pretty decent. And I've been doing, like, tier 11 maps on this. And it's just a bit rough. Like, the thing is, like, as a build, it's pretty okay. But... At least for me, and I don't know about you guys, but whenever I have a Headhunter, I get certain expectations. And obviously, this is a pretty bad league for Headhunter anyway. Like, you have the league mechanic is incredibly good for it. However, you don't have Beyond. So outside of the league mechanic, it's, it's pretty trash. So I've generally been very, very careful on what builds I play with Headhunter. Because, you know, I don't ever want to feel like I'm wasting it. Um, and I, I will be using it potentially on my Instacker maybe make like a physical kinetic blast because that's incredibly good uh, but either way something else than this this feels a combination of squishy and bad uh, especially in higher maps like i just have literally no single target whatsoever i have like literally no single target and that never feels good and it's obviously like the the buffs don't last as long as um they don't last as long as they did last week because you can't do like the self cursing thing enough. You can always keep like getting hex proof. So yeah, I mean, it's very good for um, these things, ultimatums, old tomatoes. So the the concept of the build it's basically the same thing that I did with the elemental hit firewall spell slinger thing. But I think just that the firewall spell slinger thing is just way better even on its own without a headhunter because you're getting a fifty percent. Uh, like you're getting basically a 50% damage boost from elemental equilibrium. Obviously the elemental hit has that cool interaction with if you're using the um, if you're using the um, combat focus with this uh, cannot deal fire, it literally under no circumstance can deal fire even if it goes through a firewall. So you always are eeing no matter what. And that is really really cool. I actually love that interaction. It makes it very very strong. So this, that build wouldn't really benefit from Headhunter, but it's just very, very solid. And it's basically the same gear. And uh, I'm trying out two Stormfires at the moment, because obviously the idea is like the Impulse is shocking, it's also igniting. Uh, and it is it is pretty interesting. Like, the explosions are insane, and the Ignites left behind are insane. Now, behold the damage. This is with Headhunter buffs. Sometimes it looks worse than that, but it's, uh, it's the worst Headhunter build I've ever done. So just don't, I don't recommend this. If you're going to do something with the Impulsive Storm's Gift, probably don't do Warb. Definitely would recommend the Ellie Hit Flame Wall thing. It feels so good. And I have quite a lot of stuff on this. Let's look at the gear. I have Impulsa, which I, or sorry, Storm's Gift, which I was initially going to try to make like a Hand of Wisdom and Action in stacking build using Impulsa. Then I POB'd it and I'm like, this looks trash. Like, I don't want to play this. I have some cra crazy, crazy res boots with life and cannot be chilled, cannot be frozen, which the build doesn't really need. They're way better on any other build. Um, I have an okay life on block shield, and I'm like uh, using a Solstice Vigil with Command of Steel. Solstice Vigil is really good for Headhunter and also for Winter Orb. So that's like a nice benefit there. I have Stormfire, which I'm using for the 7% increased burning damage for each time you have shocked and non-shocked enemy recently. 
And part of the reason why this doesn't work so much and the other one does is because with Winter Orb, I really want to do hit. And those hits aren't good for Ignites because they're small repeated hits, right? Winter Orb's just pooping out small hits and they aren't stacking. Um, whereas with the Ellie hit, I'm getting like, uh, the hits are okay. They don't really matter. And it's all about pumping up the degen and the Ignite and the Pearl Lift um, and the, the Shock from the Impulse, uh, regardless on both this build and the other one, the, the shocks are so high and so much damage, and those ignites are so good. Also, it's really, really bad to use Headhunter on an Elemental Overload build, because you get so much crit. You very easily crit cap with uh, Headhunter, because uh, getting monsters that have increased crit chance so often. So often. I have a okay helmet with Winter Orb. Uh, this is pretty much whatever. Um, and I have uh, Hydrosphere in here as well. I went for a Doriani's Catalyst. I mean, I'd rather have like a really nice Shaper Scepter with increased elemental damage and maybe some good suffixes and prefixes. But, you know, I didn't need Trigger on this and this does the job. And then I have a Rumi's Dying Sun, Cinder Swallow. Decided to opt out of having a uh, Life Flask because I'm a Headhunter build. It's generally going to be safe. Jewels wise, I don't have any Legion Jewel. I probably could do something. Uh, and I'm using uh, Disorienting Display, Prismatic Heart, and Sadist. So my defense is basically Glancing Blows with Life Block on hit. And also Disorienting Display, which is very, very tanky. I have the Temp Chains. I'm trying Malevolence. I also have Skitter Bolts. And I could have done either Crab or Spider Aura as well, probably. Um, and I don't really need the Skitter Bolts. So either would probably be better than that. Other than that, I have Blowback and Burning Bright. Fan the Flames and Blowback. Fan the Flames is obviously prolifing. Then I have a Fettle and a Fettle, because I was scared of having very little life. So I invested 4x into Fettles. Crafting Blood Immunity, and that's pretty much the build right now. It's honestly pretty terrible. Obviously, I uh, did skill point, because I don't need a Lyra. I don't need the Lyra crit multi when I go Fire Siphon either. I'm, I'm going to be so tight on skill points. So this build is going to be switching into Kinetic Blast Pyro Siphon. That is the endgame goal. So I have, like, I have a wand and stuff like that. Finally got one, and it's pretty good. It needs to be divined. Working on prefixes for this one, and I basically have like two or three pieces of gear that I need to fix. Or it's basically just that the helmet and the chest is what needs to be fixed, and then we are good to instack. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. Hope you guys are having fun in Ultimatum League. I just wanted to make a video, and obviously not every build is a crazy success. To be fair, it's not a big deal because no matter what, this was respecting into a cultist later. But I guess I just wished I'd done Occultist the entire time because the Impulsa was just, it just wasn't a good idea with the Headhunter. So this was how not to do something. But I hope you liked the video nonetheless. Hope you guys are having fun. And uh, as always, subscribe if you like the videos. But the most important thing of all, try to die less than I do.